Greetings, my name is Neo Second, and welcome back to my Let's Play Metal Gear Solid for the PlayStation 1. In the last episode, I managed to make it past the communication towers and shoot down uh, Liquid and his Hind D. And then, after that, I managed to uh, get to the snowfield where I had uh, a second and final encounter with Sniper Wolf. I ended up, uh, sh and I ended up shooting her down, al although not before learning about her own tragic backstory. Because it seems like every single leader in this uh, terrorist action seems to have one of those. And well, we're now down here in the uh, underground maintenance space for Metal Gear, and we're going to try to see if we can uh, make it to the big robot in question, and find a way to disable it permanently. Pretty much it, really. Where are you gonna go? Huh? What was that noise? It was nothing. Just a whole lot of nothing. Where are you gonna go? Where are you gonna go? so I don't make any noise on the floor. Draw that poor bastard's attention my way. Looks like a whole lot of liquid metal right down there. Colonel, there's an elevator, but it's stuck on a floor below. That elevator can probably only be moved from below. There must be some other way down. Look around. Dr. Emrick knows the base well. Why don't you ask him? I already know where to go, but let's go ahead and ask him. The elevator is stopped at a lower floor and it won't come up. Is there some way to get to an elevator that will take me down further? Well, there is one, but... Where? Can you see to the west of the blast furnace? You see that crane? I think if you go down those steps, you'll get to the other side. Did you ever see anyone actually go down there? No, but I've seen mice go there. Do I look like a mouse to you? Be careful of that crane, too. It's okay, Snake. Nothing wrong with pretending to be a mouse every once in a while. Especially when the whole world is depending on our ability to uh, play the mouse. Let's crouch. Okay, let's go. Yeah, whatever you do, don't fall. Okay, he's going down. You just go that way. Here's our elevator. Now we can go use it anytime we want, so we we'll probably can and chances are well no chances are I'm gonna need it any later anyway, so Alright, where are you? Oh there you are. You just stay right there. And I am just gonna head south. Oh not before grabbing that. Grab 
steamy. I like it. Are you in the boiler room? Those pipes are really old. Once in a while they blow out steam, so be careful. You call this once in a while? You ever thought about getting those these pipes replaced? PSG one rounds. Ooh, that was Go. See something right there. Definitely glad I stopped by here then. Get out of here. How kind of them to send the elevator up our way. Actually, no, I think it would have been fun just sliding down this shaft. Get on our butts and just slide like you're going down a snowy hill. Even better if you can find something to use as a makeshift sled. Anything else? Yeah, I'll take that for sure. And that. Definitely uh, getting a lot of uh, ammunition reserves, that's for sure. I'm so glad that they changed that they change up the uh, item menu layout from Metal Gear Solid 2 onward. Make it a lot more organized. There he is! Hi, gentlemen! I'm sorry to tell you this, but there's only room on this elevator for one person, and that's going to be me. Will you hit these idiots? There we go. bit better, but could have been a lot worse too, I suppose. Right, I'm going to be out of rations for a little while. Oh, hi! That was mean. Now, are there any claymores in this area? I don't remember. hate this thermal effect. Oh! I guess that answers that question. Good thing I healed earlier. So what do we got? A ration. Just what the doctor ordered.
I see birds. Can you feed them? Metal Gear is straight down. Better move it. There's no time. The terrorists are ready to launch. Negotiations are all finished. The government can't cave into terrorist demands, but they're threatening to launch a nuclear weapon. They've made their final decision. Why is the White House being so inflexible? Colonel, is there still something you're hiding from me? Snake, please. Just concentrate on stopping them, okay? You know, Snake, how many times are you going to let yourself be deceived and manipulate like this before you finally put your foot down and say, No, I'm not going to do anything you tell me until you come clean. Completely. Like, seriously, don't just take it. Do something. There are a lot of crows around here. Those aren't crows. Those are northern ravens. The Inuit and other Native Americans worship northern ravens as creator deities. Some say that ravens have the power to predict death. The great poet Marlowe wrote about them in the 16th century. Thus, like the sad presaging raven that tolls the sick man's passport in her hollow beak, and in the shadow of the silent night doth shake contagion from her sable wings. That's pretty gloomy, Master. By the way... What? I've got something to tell you about Naomi Hunter. Do you? What about her? Is this conversation secure? Don't worry, the monitor's off. Okay. What's up? I was in the FBI too, you know. I didn't know that. What's your point? Dr. Hunter's story about her background, about her grandfather being an assistant secretary to Hoover in the FBI... Tell us. Yeah. And then going undercover to investigate the Mafia in New York. Yeah, what about it? It was all a big lie. What did you say? It was really bothering me. Why would she lie about it? She lied? She might be a spy. Ridiculous. Come on, even a high school student could see past it. The head of the FBI at that time, Edgar Hoover, he was a well-known racist. Didn't Naomi say that her father oh. was Japanese? Oh yeah, yeah. he was. He well, was the FBI back the then, time. there Never wasn't mind. a single Asian investigator. Also, oh, in the 1950s, well, the undercover mafia sting operations hadn't even started yet. They first started in 1960 in Chicago, not New York. But. You better check it out. The chief and the president mysteriously dying, and that ninja? Too many strange things are happening. Are you saying that Naomi might be behind it? I don't know. Either that, or she's working with the terrorists. Could it be? If I find out anything, I'll call. In the meantime, be careful. Yeah, I think I ended up confusing Edgar Hoover from with a president from a different time period. Closer to uh, the Great Depression era. So that was totally my fault. But I was right about him having some kind of say-so in the FBI at the time. And him being a well-known racist at that point. So, well, yeah. It would have made it would have been hard back then with somebody like that running the FBI here to rise that high within the FBI ran pecking order of things. So, if you knew at least that much about F about the FBI history, then you would have been able to really spot right away here that Naomi's uh, story earlier regarding uh, her grandfather didn't, doesn't add up. That's pretty much what I was uh, hinting at earlier. But yeah, my own little uh, error on, re on Edgar Hoover aside, I was... That was pretty much it, really, yeah. So, Naomi told us a big fat lie. Colonel, where's Naomi? I'm right here, Snake. What is it? Oh, uh, nothing. Forget it. Strange. Snake, by now those terrorists have finished their launch preparations. Stop wasting time. Okay, I'll tell you later. So yeah, 
So now that we now that we know that uh, the story regarding her grandfather was a big lie, it kind of makes you wonder what else has she lied to us about. And then once you recount some of her uh, strange, well, qu well, questioning sessions with Snake throughout the game, especially regarding well the ninja and all that stuff, how she seemed to have just been keeping that information hidden, it really starts to paint a picture that. She may have, indeed, some ulterior motives that she's told nobody about. So, it's pretty much at that point where I really started to suspect her. Uh, let's go ahead and heal. And let's go inside this door. That is a big fucking Welcome, mini machine Cossack. gun. This is the end of the road for you. Right, my friends? Listen, they agree. Ravens aren't scavengers like most people think. They're simply returning to the natural world, that which is no longer needed. Sometimes they even attack wounded foxes. You were the one in the M1 tank? Must have been a tight fit for a big boy like you. <laughs> but that was no true battle. <laughs> the Ravens and I were testing to see what kind of man you were. The judgment is decided. How heavy the is Ravens that thing that you're you wearing? Are a true warrior. Just out of interest. Am I hallucinating? Probably. Move. The raven has put the mark of death upon you. Blood from the east flows within your veins. Ah, your ancestors too were raised on the barren plains of Mongolia. Inuit and Japanese are cousins to each other. We share many ancestors, you and I. I don't have any crows in my family tree. You jest, but indeed ravens and snakes are not the best of friends. Nevertheless, you will make a worthy adversary. You live in Alaska too. You know of the world Eskimo Indian Olympics? Yeah, I know it. it must be a real threat in the muktuk eating contest. Yes, you are right. But there is another event that I excel at. It is called the Ear Pool. It is an event where two opponents pull each other's ears while enduring the harsh cold. It tests spiritual as well as physical strength. You want to pull each other's ears? The that form is simple. different, but the spirit is the I'd same. Probably get my ear pulled off by you, snake. though. Ours will be a glorious battle. This isn't glorious. It's just plain killing. Violence isn't a sport. Well, we'll see if there is iron in your words. There is iron in my wards, buddy. And plenty of grains, too. I'm sorry, that was stupid. The Balkan Raven is half Native Alaskan American and half Inuit. He was raised as a shaman, and they say he has supernatural powers. During the Cold War, he trained in Russia with the Bimple, the Soviet Special Forces. In 1993, he was demoted by President Yeltsin following his coup d'etat. So he fled the country and became a mercenary. After that, he joined those rental war bastards at Outer Heaven, Inc. He stayed there until he joined us in Foxhound, thanks to a strong recommendation from Revolver Ocelot. That cannon he's holding is a 20mm Vulcan gun. You usually see them mounted on fighter planes. You can't take him on in a firefight. He'll make mincemeat of you. He's not just strong, Snake. He's a graduate emeritus from Alaska University, so he's a quick thinker, too. In any case, you'd better not try to attack him from the front. Normal weapons are no match for his 20mm Vulcan. Try to attack him from the sides or behind. Yeah, I'd be crazy to go in front of him with that weapon at it, with that weapon he's got. So, what else can you do, really? It looks like Raven is holding an M61A1 20mm multi turret machine gun. They are usually mounted on F 16s. With its six rotating turrets, it can fire 4,020 millimeter rounds per minute, and it is accurate too. If you come at him from the front, he'll turn you into borscht. I don't want to be borscht. 
That place is right in the middle of the permafrost. Just like the name says, it never melts. I've heard over 85% of Alaska is permafrost. It's extremely cold there, Snake. If you don't hurry, your sea rations will freeze. One way to prevent your sea rations from freezing is to hold them close to your body by equipping them. Yeah, that's something you also got to keep in mind while you're fighting this guy, is you gotta make sure your rations don't freeze on you, otherwise if you need to eat them, well, you won't be able to while they're frozen. So that you'll room be is still screwed. under construction, because their main priority was to finish Metal Gear's underground base. But the good thing is, with all those containers, it should be easy to hide, right? Yeah. Now, since I don't have access to my, uh... Radar. This is definitely going to be interesting. Snake, are you okay? For now, yes. I'm just trying to think how I'm gonna exactly I'm gonna approach fighting this guy. Don't die, Snake. Oh wait, I don't mean I didn't mean to call you again. Snake. Figure out where he is. He's right there. He's gonna lay some traps throughout. running now. This 
way. Just hit one more of them, and then, and then make me king. There we go. That wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Just as the boss said, it is my existence which is no longer needed in this world. But my body will not remain in this place. My spirit and my flesh will become one with the ravens. In that way, I will return to Mother Earth who bore me. Snake! I will be watching you! Understand? Loud and clear. Snake, take this security card. It will open that door. Why? You are a snake which was not created by nature. You and the boss. You are from another world. A world that I do not wish to know. Go and do battle with him. I will be watching from above. First, I'll give you a hint. The man who you saw die before your eyes. Which one? What is it? That was not the Dharma chief. Say what? It was Decoy Octopus, a member of Foxhound. He was a master of disguise. He copied his subjects down to the blood. So he drained the chief's blood and took it into himself. But he wasn't able to deceive the Angel of Death. The Angel of Death? What is this Angel of Death? But why go to so much trouble? Why impersonate the chief? <laughs> That is the end of my hint. You must solve the rest of the riddle yourself. Snake, in the natural world, there's no such thing as boundless slaughter. There is always an end to it. But you are different. What are you trying to say? The that path really you walk on has no end. Like each step you take is paved with the corpses of your enemies. Their souls will haunt you forever. You shall have no peace. Hear me, Snake. My spirit will be watching you. Those are some really f scary fucking ravens, I gotta say. To eat a man as big as him that fast and leave Snake, literally nothing. It's me, Master. It's about Naomi. Turn your monitor off. What about Naomi? Damn. Colonel, is Naomi there? No, she's away. She's taking a short nap. Hmm. So what is this about Naomi? Okay, maybe we'd better let the Colonel hear this too. Yeah, go on, Master. Well, basically, Dr. Naomi Hunter is not Dr. Naomi Hunter at all. What? I thought her story of her background sounded kind of fishy, so I checked it out. And? There is an actual Dr. Naomi Hunter, or I should say, there was one. But she's not the woman we know. The real Naomi Hunter disappeared somewhere in the Middle East. Our Naomi must have somehow obtained her identification papers. So then, who is she really? She must be some kind of... spy. A spy? Yes. Maybe she's been sent to sabotage this operation. Are you saying she's with the terrorists? 
I don't want to believe it either, but she is working for Foxhound. So you think she had a part in the uprising? Or she could be working with some different group altogether. Different group? It couldn't be. Place her under arrest. What? She's betrayed us. She needs to be arrested and interrogated to find out who she's with. If she's one of their spies, then we're in big trouble. What do you mean? Ah, uh, nothing. Have nothing. you let her in on some kind of vital secret or something? Does this have anything to do with the mysterious deaths of the DARPA chief and the Arms Tech president? I... I have no idea. Sure does Anyway, we cannot allow her to participate any further in this mission. Wait, wait a minute. Without her, we can't complete this mission. I knew it. You're hiding something. Give me some time. I'll try to get it out of her. Hurry then. We've got to figure out who she is and what she's doing here. I understand. Snake, give me some time. I don't have any time left for you. Yeah, it's pretty much at this point where I would just say, fuck you. I'm not Snake, doing anything. Tell you. Naomi, I'm tell me everything. The matter right now. Give me a little more time. Where is she? She's Call me still a bad sleeping. soldier if you wish, I but I, don't, I wouldn't like being used turns as out to be an imposter and now Naomi. What the hell is going on here? I suppose you're going to tell me you don't know anything, right? I'm sorry, Snake. A uh, madman is threatening the world with a nuclear weapon. I guess that's what I should worry about now. What do you gotta say, Master? Snake. I'm sure that woman calling herself Naomi is some type of spy. And now I'm starting to think that Campbell might be hiding something too. Don't trust him. I haven't trusted him for pretty much the first episode, really. You found body armor. It will lower the damage you take from gunfire. It is designed to prevent bullets from penetrating, but you will still feel the impact from the bullets. Don't rely on it too much. How about you, Otacon? I don't know anything about Dr. Naomi, so there's not much I can say. But Snake, I think you'd better leave that to Colonel Campbell. Don't you think you'd better just get to the control room? Yes, yes, okay. Before I do that, I'm gonna look around for some stuff I can use, like this. And this. I think that's everything. Level seven card, so I'm gonna have to backtrack up to the snowfield and open that seven door at one point. Yeah, obvious trap is obvious. And look at all these freaking gun cameras. They really want to make sure that nobody sneaks past here. Like seriously, look at all these things. Well, at least once I get to a good spot. They're fucking everywhere. Okay, let's go. There it is. The motherfucking T-Rex. Sorry, motherfucking Metal Gear. Yep, it's beautiful. Snake, stop that launch. Head for the control room in the underground base. Give Dr. Emmerich a call. There's no time. 
There, but there is time to give a call. There's always time for that. It looks like they finished getting Metal Gear ready. How do you know that? I overheard them talking. Where are you now? Right in front of Metal Gear, but it's strange. What is? There's nobody here. No guards, nobody patrolling. It's too quiet. Maybe because they're all ready. They said they even input the PAL codes. What should I do? All we can do is use the override system that President Baker told you about. But I've only got one of the three keys. And besides that, like Ocelot said, there's some trick to using the keys. Leave it to me. You got some kind of plan? Well, I'm in the computer room right now. I'm trying to access Baker's private files. Baker's files? Don't you need a password? Of course, but there are ways. Are you a hacker? Yep, that describes me pretty well. Does it look like you can get in? I don't know yet. I'll give it a try. I'm counting on you. So what other kind of secret professions do you have on the side, Otacon? Just out of interest. Besides being a mel besides being an engineer of blocking weapons of mass destruction and hacking. And well, being an otaku, if you consider something like that an occupation, I don't, but well, some people would, I suppose. I like how this thing has a freaking laser mounted on its crotch. You can't tell me that wasn't intentional. Snake, it's me again. How's it going? Uh, not bad. I just got past his third security level. He was a pretty careful guy. Do you think you'll break in soon? I never met a system I couldn't bust into. Okay, keep trying. Keep at it, man. Let's see any guards over here? I do, however, see some people in what looks to be a control room over there. But I'll get a good look at them in just a minute. First things first. I get I gotta keep stocking up on ammunition and supplies. I'm right on top of the fucking Rex. Snake! I did it! You got past security? Bingo! Great. So what do you got? I accessed the confidential Metal Gear file. So what about the PAL override system that Baker talked about? I haven't found it yet. That's what I need to know. But Snake, I found something else. What? The secret behind the new nuclear weapon. Yes. Just as I thought, the nuclear warhead is designed to be fired from the railgun like a projectile. It doesn't use fuel, so it isn't considered a missile. That way it can get around all sorts of international treaties. Pretty sneaky. Yes, but effective. And that's not even the scariest thing about this weapon. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. It's a stealth weapon. You mean it won't show up on radar? Yeah. The truth is they've been working on a stealth missile since the late 70s. Why weren't they able to develop one until now? Because of the missile rocket propulsion system, it would be picked up by enemy satellites. Oh yeah, that makes sense. But unlike a missile, the railgun doesn't burn any propellant, so it can't be detected by any current ballistic missile detection systems. An invisible nuclear warhead. Totally impossible to intercept. Overkill And on much? top of that, it's got a surface-piercing warhead designed to penetrate hardened underground bases. Yeah, we learned that lesson in the Gulf War. This thing could mean the end of the world! It's the ultimate weapon. And from a political point of view, it avoids the problem of nuclear reduction and nuclear inspections. Colonel, is this true? Are you listening? I'm listening. 
If word of this got out, it could delay the signing of the START III Treaty and cause a huge international incident. Yeah, it would be nasty. The United States would be denounced by the UN. It could even bring the President down. Did you know this, Colonel? I'm sorry. You changed, Colonel. I won't make any excuses. Snake, listen to me. This new nuclear weapon, it's never actually been tested, only simulated. You mean they ran a computer model? Yeah, that's why they were conducting this exercise. They needed to get actual experimental data to back up the simulation. What were the results of the exercise? It looks like it went better than they hoped for, but I can't what? find the data anywhere on this network. You'd think the data as important as that would be carefully recorded. It was. President Baker gave me an optical disk with all of the test data. What? Do you still have it? No. Ocelot took it from me. Damn. The terrorists have replaced the dummy warhead with a real warhead. Once they input the detonation codes, they should be ready to launch. So you think they can do it? Well, the dummy warhead was designed to be identical to the real thing, so I think so. Did you find out how to override it yet? Not yet. It must be in a separate file. Right now I'm looking through all of Baker's personal files. We're counting on you. Yeah, this thing is a pretty nasty piece of work, this Metal Gear. But seriously, just imagine that, you know, you're a com that you're a country as big and influential as the United States, and you were in the your secret weapon, which can do all this crazy shit here, gets revealed via some kind of leak or something to the international community. Think of what kind of shitstorm that could cause. It'd be something, I'm sure. Anyway, does this bastard look familiar to you guys? He looks an awful lot like the other bastard that was piloting that Heimdish chopper I shot down earlier. Maybe they're twins. I should go talk to him, see if they're actually related, or maybe this, it could just be a case of identical strangers. You never know. You never know. Oh shit, hi. We've got a guard over there. Spending. It looks like there was even some talk of a hostile takeover. Everything was riding on this project, I guess. And it looks like we were paying a lot of bribe money to the DARPA chief. Bribe money, huh? Yeah. And Baker was a big proponent of the nuclear deterrent theory. I see. So anyway, what about the override? Just give me a little bit longer. So... Lots of corruption within DARP. So lots of corruption within uh, between pri private military corporations and uh, mil and uh, military and government institutions. Not exactly new by any stretch of the imagination, but still, corruption is corruption. I'm amazed they didn't see you right then and there. Okay, I've entered the PAL codes and disengaged the safety device. We can launch any time. There's still no response from Washington. It looks like we'll have to show them that we mean business. Should I set it for Chernotin, Russia? No, there's been a change. The new target is Lopnor, China. Why, boss? Please. I'm sure neither you nor Mr. Golukovich would really like to see is. a nuclear bomb dropped on your motherland, right? Liquid. But why? There we go. There's That's nothing there. Wrong. 
It's a nuclear test site. A nuclear test site? If we nuke a major population center, the game's over. But a nuclear explosion at a test site can still be concealed from the public. Meanwhile, Washington will be worried about the retaliatory strike from China. That'll probably mean top secret talks between both countries' leaders. Of course. And in the process, the President will be forced to divulge the existence of a new and highly destabilizing nuclear weapon to the Chinese. What do you think that will do to the U.S.'s reputation? Or the President's? And with the CTBT, that means that China and India... I see. Yes. When the other countries hear about this new weapon, they'll all want to contact us. Washington won't be very happy when we start selling their own system to the highest bidders. Yes, the president will break. He will give in to our demands. Big Boss's DNA and one billion dollars. Billion dollars? That money will be used to cure our genome soldiers as well. I'm also including the Fox Dye vaccine in our demands. Fox Dye. Fox Dye. It killed Octopus and the arms tech president. Now we know so I killed them. So it's true that it affects older people first. Mantis might not have been affected because he wore a mask. Wolf wasn't infected either. Perhaps due to those tranquilizers she always took. Something to do with the adrenaline level in the blood. Or maybe it's just because this fox die was still experimental and they haven't worked out all the bugs yet. In any case, have you heard from your friend, Colonel Sergei Golukovich, at the Spetsnaz? He still has doubts about the ability of Metal Gear. He said we can talk after Metal Gear's test launch is successful. Hmm, he's a very prudent man. There's nothing to worry about. The Colonel wants Metal Gear and a new nuclear weapon so bad he can taste it. If Russia wants to regain its position as a military superpower, they need to reinforce their nuclear arsenal. They need a nuclear weapon that can't be intercepted. Metal Gear will allow them to gain first strike capability over the rest of the world. Their regular army is in shambles, and they think they can restore their country's military power with nuclear weapons? Galukovich, he's no warrior. He's a politician. Well, he's Nukes the one who really gave us the hind, and most of our other heavy weapons, fire power. man. He's got over a thousand soldiers under his command. If we join forces, we could put up quite a resistance here. Since Mantis died, the genome soldier's brainwashing has started to wear off. I'm worried about the men's morale. An alliance with the Russians would, that would explain that as well. why they all rebelled. You say, We're not going anywhere. We're going to dig in here. We could still escape. We've got the most powerful weapon ever made, and we're about to ally with Galukovich's forces. Are you going to fight the whole world? And what's wrong with that? We can launch a nuclear warhead at any target on this planet. A nuclear warhead invisible to radar. And on top of that, this base is full of spare nuclear warheads. Once we get the DNA and the money, the world will be ours. What about your You know, to the second that they I figure out who you are and where, where you are, Russia. you're fucked, you're right? Thinking of reviving Big Boss's you tree. need to think this through but a bit. They call this place Outer Heaven. Big Boss's dream. But Boss, you're not worried about the PAL being overridden. If the code is in it again, it'll be deactivated. No need to worry. The DARPA chief and the arms tech president are both dead. Uh -oh. Does Snake know how the override system works? You interrogated him, don't you know? He didn't have any keys on him. Good. Then no one can stop Metal Gear now. By the way, what should we do with that woman? Want me to kill her? Let her live. She's Campbell's niece, and Snake cares for her. We'll keep her as our ace in the hole. Meryl, she's alive. Snake, I found Baker's top secret files. Great job. How's it going there? They've finished inputting the PAL codes. So how do we deactivate them? Okay. You see, the override system that the President was talking about, it can also be used to input the detonation codes. You see, if you insert the keys when the warhead is active, you deactivate it. And if you insert them when it's inactive, it becomes activated. And you can only use the keys once. 
Only once, huh? Yeah. You better get started. We don't have much time. But it takes three keys, right? I've only got one of them. Hold on a minute. You see, that's the trick. You already have all three keys. Say what? What are you talking about? The card key is made of a shape memory alloy. Shape memory alloy? Yes. It's a material that changes shape at different temperatures. The key is made out of it. This card key? Yeah. The card key changes shape at different temperatures. So this key is actually three keys in one. Clever. Can you see the input terminals in the center of the control room? I see them. Those three laptop terminals are for the emergency input. There should be a symbol on each screen. Each symbol corresponds to a different key. Input the keys in order from left to right. The left one's for the room temperature key. See the symbol? Next to that goes the low temperature key. The one on the right is the high temperature key. Okay, I got it. First I change the shape of the card and then I input them in order, right? That's right. All you do is insert the card keys. After you insert the key into the module, a hard disk reads the information contained on it. Once you've finished with all three terminals, the code input process is complete. But here's the thing. You can only use the key three times. It's an emergency system. It's only meant to be used once. The world is riding on that key, Snake. Who's that? Damn! That time you noticed me. The key fell in the drainage ditch. Snake! This is bulletproof glass. There's no way in. I'll enjoy watching you die. <laughs> Snake, you've got to get that key. Work, working on it, but first things first, I got to deal with these assholes. Just a grenade. Take care of you. I didn't mean to go up the stairs. You should have had backup. Okay, so we gotta go get the freaking card from the drainage ditch. Only one problem. The drainage ditch is filled with nuclear wastewater. Don't believe me? Well, maybe I can uh, get... Stasha to uh, tell me about it here. There is a big difference between conventional weapons and weapons of mass destruction. Conventional weapons are intended for use against military targets, but nuclear weapons are used against non-combatants. Nukes are designed to kill tens of thousands of innocent civilians in a flash. That is why nuclear weapons are so evil. So is every other explosive ever, really. I mean, the only difference is just how much they can kill. They're really not that unique, man. Again, I'm not trying to I'm not really trying to downplay how deadly nukes in general are, but I mean I think of a better argument is all I'm saying. So yeah, I gotta walk around in this nuclear wastewater looking for this key. Hopefully I don't get radi radiation sickness later on.
Master. You lost the key? Hurry up and find it. They've already entered the detonation code. The only way to stop that launch is to lock the system by re-inputting the detonation codes. If you use the mine detector, you should be able to find the key, even if it fell into the drainage ditch. Whatever you do, find that key. It would work if my radar was active, but it's not. I disabled it. So what I'm going to need to use instead... I just found a bomb. Oh shit. Alright, let's get out of here. It's clearly not here. So, he's not in the drainage ditch, obviously, but I'm not getting a call confirming as much either. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this little trap right here. Because, well, chances are, a rat ate it. I wish I was kidding, but no. you either I'm blind today or some, I, I don't know I'll, I'll just I, I'm just gonna go with I'm just an idiot at any rate at least I have the damn card again here we are I guess I won't need to kill any rats today after all Center room, command room, whatever you want to call it, the launch room. And input our first key. Whatever you do, don't go in here and trip off the cameras, otherwise you'll be locked into the room, gas will be released, and you will die. There is no way to escape. It's literally a death sentence. Just use chaff before going in. 
No, 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 not that one. Key's wrong? You say key's wrong, you idiot. There, use that one. Us where to go. Next, you've got to cool the card key. Where should I do that? This is Alaska. Go outside. It's cold everywhere. But you're close to the warehouse where you fought Raven, right? That place is right in the middle of the permafrost layer, and there's no heater either. That key is actually an IC card. Its connector pins and main body are made of a shape memory alloy. It's designed so that unless it's been changed to the correct shape, it won't be recognized by the PAL code input terminal in the control room, and the detonation code won't be entered. Well, I need to go outside to uh, go to that seven door I haven't looked at yet anyway, so fine by me. So yeah, I'm just gonna backtrack all the way over there, and then once I check out what's inside that room, we're gonna wait a bit until the key is cooled enough. And then we're gonna run all the way back here. Just passing through. Well, we're outside. And Pop is still here. How did I miss you? How the fuck did I miss you? Oh, shit. Okay, that's enough of that. Now uh, we just gotta wait until my uh, card turns to a different color. Oh, fuck this. Buddy, come on. I suppose it's my own fault, but still. Lord. I'm making all kinds of bad decisions right now. Now, will the other ration from my fight with Snapper Wolf be here? Just PG and PSG1 rounds. Nothing but. Is that parachute from earlier?
guess I could collect a couple of play more since I did use them up in my fight with Raven. How's my card? Still yellow. Now, one thing you should keep in mind is once you get the cards, once you get the card uh, to a different color to represent hot or cold, respectively, you need to hurry the hell back to uh, the input terminals, especially when you're going through different, and especially if you're going through hot or cold areas, respectively, because there is the risk that the, that the card will change back to room temperature or anything or something on the way back. So you cannot afford to waste any time. You gotta hurry on the way back. Any minute now. Someone's not right here. Should have changed color by now. I think maybe I'll need to go to the permafrost after all. There we go. It's blue. Let's get the hell out of here. That went by a lot faster. Rather, it just went by, period. I don't, know, I don't know why it didn't change shape while I was outside. I mean, this is Alaska, as Akon pointed out, but... I don't know. Maybe the game devs didn't think that part through while developing this game. One place I can think of already that I can go to take the, the key to warm. Now it. you've got to warm it. You need to find some place hot. Like in my pants. Those who forget the past are doomed to repeat it. That is why the world must never forget Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Why did I think you'd have anything useful to say here? Somewhere warm? What about the blast furnace? But the problem is, if you go through a cold place on the way back, the card key might change shape. You need to hurry on the way back. I'm already way ahead of you on that one, buddy. Okay, so... I think I'm gonna go ahead and just cut things off here. I can, and uh, resume uh, my little uh, back and forth for the PAL key in the next episode. And then maybe we can finally stop this launch. I hope you guys enjoyed this latest episode of Metal Gear Solid. If you did and you want to see more content from me, feel free to subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys next time. Take care. <laughs>